Um, is there a motion? Oh, thank you. A uh, motion to approve the agenda and any amendments. I believe we have one amendment, which would go under new business uh, B, release of the remaining letter of credit to uh, Empire Real Estate and Development. So is there a motion for the approval of the agenda with that amendment? Motion. Second. Comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, <clears throat> motion to approve the minutes of May 9th. <clears throat> Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Uh, Pat, could we please have a report of executive session? Sure, immediately before the public meeting this evening, the board met in executive session to discuss pending litigation and real estate items. No real decisions were made, no motion taken. Well, thank you. Um, is there public comment from anyone on any non agenda items? No, not at this time. Anybody? Uh, <laughs> yes, Robert. James, James. James, sorry. Uh, James Robert. Uh, a few weeks ago, I sent a letter. Um, regarding issues with people who work at homes where I live and they pull the homes apart and they openly burn the materials and someone had called 911 because it smelled like chemicals and they had it in a dumpster by the house but the fire company is like we don't do that and they refused mm -hmm. to come out and 911 would give them a call and sometimes they will sometimes they won't but like we're paying them past money now. Can we like pay for the marshal or something? Because like I understand like code enforcement exists, but mm -hmm. I mean where I live, it's weekends. Like Sunday night is garbage. I hate to say it, but that's when I can start burning the trash. You know, is there's some type of way to have you know have to burn that? It feels like it's kind of like. We have a burn, it's kind of like, I hate to use this analogy, but pot's like decriminalized, you know, pot's illegal, but it's decriminalized, so there's no penalty and everybody can do it anyway. I mean, that's it. <laughs> probably not the greatest analogy, but that's how it kind of feels with the burning that takes place on weekends. So tell me, tell us again, You there was burning on the weekend uh -huh. and you called 911? Uh, one of my neighbors did. Okay. And they said we don't for those types of calls. So she called the fire hall and left messages. And she called the fire marshal. Marshall Street. Oh, the Marshall Street. Yeah, okay. I left the messages too. I wrote Marshall's Creek Fire Company letter as well. Did they respond? No. The best thing we can do on our end, and we'll step on the toes. But... Uh, is it, and I know it's not always comfortable, but if somebody can snap a picture of it, well, I Yeah. Well, I was hoping you would chime in because even if you send something to zoning on the weekends, they get it on their phone. Yeah, they get it on the phone. Right. Yeah. For right. It. They sent it to zoning for <clears throat> the picture after the weekend. Uh, it doesn't sound like there's a smell of a chemical that's going across the lake yeah. that people can smell. I mean, as an HOA, we we find them. Mm -hmm. We dealt with it. You know, they haven't burned since. I mean, from some people, two hundred dollars is a lot, mm -hmm. but that's. I mean, we sent them, and they responded. But it's just like so many people do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we they. I mean. It, not necessarily maybe to get somebody out on Sunday evening, but you know, Monday morning we can send a notice of violation out. Right. Let them know that we, you know, not that we're actually charging them for anything, but if we find it in the future, right. you know, we understand mm -hmm. what's been going on. They can dispute it then, but at least here in the picture we can say, oh, right. So if someone to come out, it could yeah. happen. That's true. Yeah. I was yeah. told the secret is it's a it's happening by their house. This lack. I mean, what's by? That would get the fire. That would get the fire marshal out to the right. fire chief out. Okay. He said you felt like your property was in danger. Right. But it was just somebody burning with the green smoke coming up out of it. And right. it's not likely to come out for that. I hate the violation of the burn ban. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's a violation of the burn ban. But he's going to come out if he feels he's going to have to call the, the entire department out mm -hmm. because of it. 
community. And then we've had rainy season, but what do we do when we have a drought? Mm -hmm. uh, what do we, we had a big one today. Yeah. yeah. So it was a big brush fire within. <laughs> sure, does that have to be a fire? Mm -hmm. What is this thing? So I, I guess under correspondence, then we should add your letter of April 23rd. Yes, you should. I am writing to ask why we have a burn ban and if, it's, if it is not enforced. On Saturday, April 20th, a resident on Birch Road was burning building materials. So, okay. So, so far you've not received a response from any. Did you submit this to zoning by any chance? Um, I sent a notice of action. Okay. All right. So at least there's something there we can follow up yep. on. Yes. For it. Okay. Or that center? Huh? I think Michelle had this, right? Who did you send it to? Uh, Lori. That's another thing to Lori now. Oh, Lori. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because there was a letter. This was also found ah. under the door, right? Yep. Okay. Very persistent. Yeah. And so some good words for you. I mean, that hearing. The zoning hearing that took place. Mm -hmm. Judy Acosta was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the feedback I got from the other board members. Mm -hmm. I, it went three hours, but the case of the individual who wants to do something they weren't permitted to do with their building, mm -hmm. she did a fantastic job. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for your comment. Okay, so that's uh, public comment. Do, does do any uh, supervisors have anything for announcements? No. Nope. <clears throat> Day twelve thousand coming up. Fifty six people are signed up. So nice. So we first red white and blue tournament I believe every year. Okay. Anybody's interested in signing up? I think you order enough food for sixty four or sixty eight. With faces left. Uh, sealed bids are due June 11th for uh, the golf course and remaining lands, just to mention it again. Um, correspondence, we added your letter. Polly, was there any other correspondence? Uh, and that brings us to the treasurer's report. Okay, I make a motion from our general fund, 231000 Fifty-four dollars and fifty-seven cents. Any questions? All in favor? Apologize. Uh, motion from our sewer account: sixty-three thousand five hundred thirty dollars and eighty-nine cents. All second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And a motion from our golf account: seven thousand four hundred seventy-three dollars and eighteen cents. Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's it. All right. Thank you, Michael. A uh, solicitor's report? Uh, there is nothing for me to report this evening. I may have some comments on items for your own agenda, but nothing else specific to me unless the board has any questions or concerns for me. Nope. Seeing none, moving on. Uh, engineer's report. There is no engineer this evening. No engineer's report. And that brings us to old business country club of the Poconos, the bid due diligence on testing on site. So if the board recalls you had an individual that was interested in doing some on site uh, testing or investigations of the uh, property, uh, they did agree and sign the uh, release and waiver indemnification uh, document uh, prior to proceeding with their testing. I'm not sure if it happened yet. Uh, they were they're required to notify the township. Uh, before they go on the property to do their testing. Well, any other comments or questions from the board on that? All right, that brings us to new business, revitalized 209 grant. We have Marathon Studios left on our uh, agenda, but there is no movement on that. He is still awaiting the separation of his quote. So there's no action there. We tabled it last time and there's nothing to do with it this evening. Um, and that brings us to letter B, 
um, which is the release of $43,450 remaining on the letter of credit to uh, Empire Real Estate and Development. So. Well, I'll make a motion to release the 43450 letter of credit to FNB Bank subject to receipt of an Empire Real Estate and Development Corporate Guarantee for the same amount. I'll second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, public comment? Anyone? Yes, ma'am. I, I had someone ask a question about what the uh, the community board that you're looking for members mm -hmm. for. Kind of what that the Community and Cultural Center Foundation. Yeah. It's a 501c3 foundation, and the purpose of it is to uh, assist with developing programming um, and assist with fundraising for capital improvement. So, okay. I will pass it on. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ed. Rumor has it that there, and that's going to be paving 209 right over to Holy Cross Road this year. Municipal. Is that correct? Yeah, municipal. Any, any time timetable? Uh, I believe that um, we should see them starting. They just finished um, all the ADA curbing at Perkins. Um, I'm not sure by the school if they finished that. Um, well, they have to. They modified something. Yeah, because the the guidelines changed from when they put that in previously. Um, so that was changed. My presumption, I don't have a timeline definitively, but I, my presumption is we'll probably see them sometime in June. I mean, everything else is done, so. Oh, the 10th of the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. I would think, I would think that. It'll be through the 4th of July. Right, for sure. yeah. Um, I think they're still trying to get like four or 500 more cones to direct traffic. Maybe yeah. one lane for two miles or so. Right. That should really backtrack a couple months. So right. People will have a decision to make when they pass your place. Mm -hmm. Should we go in? We're yeah. sitting here anyway. Definitely before wonder. Labor Day. Definitely needs it. Uh, any other public comment? Question? Young man, is there anything you'd like for us to sign for you tonight? Uh, all we need is just that was here. Okay. Well, why don't you step? Yeah. Come on, yeah. There's a. I always expecting you want something like um. There's an agenda. Piece of paper. Yeah, there's an agenda over there if you want to grab one on the table. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Watch channel thirteen. You'll be on channel thirteen. <laughs> and YouTube tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow you can download and put that for yourself. You can interview him. Is he a picture of this? Sure. Take take a couple of Why don't take, you Why don't you come over. with us and somebody can take a picture of you uh, up here? Sounds good. Uh -huh. <laughs> here. 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 Come around. Give me chair. <laughs> the boss. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank now you got proof. Thank you, mother. All righty. You're also you're also our chaplain, right? Uh, yes. You ever need somebody to hold you up in prayer? He's the guy. Thank you. Francis training them well. Yes. Um, all right. Any other public comment or questions? Anybody on Zoom have anything for us tonight? No? Oh, your favorite motion. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Uh, Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that. Sorry, can you send that to Al? Let's see.